This is a clip from a YouTube video I made showing how to make a plasma speaker. A plasma speaker uses electrical sparks to produce music. Several people have asked me how the plasma speaker works. How can a spark produce musical sound? Well, with the help of a high-speed slow-motion video camera, we can now see how it makes sound. We'll start by looking at a normal speaker slowed down by a factor of 400. This means that one second of real-world events would take almost seven minutes of slow-motion video. In the real world, the speaker cone vibrates back and forth very rapidly. Each time the speaker cone moves upwards, it pushes out the air above it, producing a small puff. Our brains interpret these rapid puffs of air as an acoustical tone rather than a series of discrete vibrations. The tone played out on this case is a G below middle C, about 200 cycles per second. So a normal speaker creates puffs of air by moving a paper or plastic cone back and forth very rapidly. In fact, anything that vibrated 200 times a second produced this tone. If you could tap a pencil on a table 200 times a second, you wouldn't hear 200 pencil taps every second. Instead, you'd hear the same G note that is being played on the speaker. Well, plasma speakers don't work by tapping anything, but they still produce regular vibrations. This is my plasma speaker, also slowed down by a factor of 400. The plasma speaker works by modulating the intensity of the spark. The pulses of current sent out by the plasma speaker circuit cause the spark to repeatedly flare up many times each second. We can see the spark get brighter with each current surge, but more importantly, the spark also gets much hotter. And when air is heated, the air pressure also increases. And that sudden increase in air pressure is uh, what creates a puff of air. It's uh, something like a very tiny thunderclap. Well, we don't hear this sound as a series of thunderclaps for the same reason we don't hear a normal speaker producing a series of puffs. We interpret these vibrations as acoustic sound. So this is the way that plasma speakers produce sound. They produce large numbers of thunderclaps every second and our brains interpret it as sound. So if you want to make your own plasma speaker, you can Google Darren Sherman plasma speaker circuit or watch my earlier YouTube plasma speaker video for details. Thanks for watching.